Uh, hi guys, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use remote desktop over the internet so that you can access a computer that is at the remote location uh, and use it as if you were sitting right in front of that computer. Uh, I will be doing this uh, tutorial by using Windows 7 Professional on both of the computers but some other versions of Windows do offer this feature uh, and as long as they offer it, the process should be just the same. I did try win this remote desktop on Windows Vista and Windows Server 2008. Uh, Windows Server 2008, it, the procedure is just the same and Windows Vista Home Premium. It only allows you to access other computer, but it, you cannot access a computer that is uh, running Windows Vista Home Premium. So to basically get started, uh, what you need to do is you need to enable remote desktop on both of the computers. So uh, at first, you will be running the computer that you want to access to. So let us suppose that I'm running a computer that I want to access to. So in that computer, you can go to start, uh, go to computer, properties, remote settings, and choose the second option, which will basically let you uh, do remote desktop over multiple versions of Windows and you can do the same thing on the computer that you want to access from if you want to access that computer actually so after that uh, you will have to forward port 3389 in your router or firewall uh, to do that you need your default gateway to access your router and your IP address uh, to which you want to forward to so to get that information you can again go to start type in cmd and when you are in this uh, command prompt you can type ipconfig and there you go that's default gateway 192.168.1.1 and that's a uh, ip address 192.168.1.120 so when you have that information you can fire up your internet browser and then on top type in your default gateway when you're in there uh, it will basically ask you for your login information uh, so you can enter your username and password I already did mine so I don't have to and then you will go into the home page of your router control page or setup page so from there, uh, this is Linksys WRT54GS router. So in this router, you can go to application and gamings. When you click this, you will basically go to this page. And I have already forwarded the port for this computer so that I can access it from other computers. So we can uh, go there and type any name for application. And we will be forwarding port 3389. It's only one port that we are going to forward, so on both starting and ending port, we can type 3389. And the protocol we'll be using is TCP, as uh, Windows Desktop only accepts TCP protocol. And here's the port uh, IP address of my computer, so that I can access it, access it from other computers. After this, I can just save the settings. And then settings are successful. Right, can close it. Okay, now for Netgear router users, uh, this is what you do. You do the same, you like you uh, get your default gateway. And then uh, what you can do is uh, go into your router. And then it will basically go into your Netgear router's home page, or uh, setup page, main page. From there you can choose uh, port forwarding and port triggering. When you choose that, you will go to this page. And in there you can do add custom service. And when you, I'm trying, I'm accessing this router remotely, so it's a little bit slower. So in there you can again do it like this to starting and ending port, which will be 3389 and uh, IP address of this computer and any name you want to give. So this is about port forwarding now you need to know the IP address of your router so that when you when you try to access your router with the port number we forwarded 
you will uh, forward to the computer that the IP address we enter uh, or whatever okay so let me say that again so we need uh, the IP address of the router so that when we uh, punch in IP address of the router with the port we forwarded uh, in the remote desktop login page uh, that will basically take us to the computer who I whose IP address we just entered over there in the IP forward page I mean uh, protocol forward page so to look at your IP address of the router the easiest thing to do is again fire up your internet browser and type in uh, what is my ip.com okay so when you are there uh, that's my IP so your IP will be of course different it cannot be same you just note down the information and that's all you need you just close the space there are other ways to do it but I find that the easiest way as long as I have internet access so finally it's time to access a computer remotely now let's say I'm sitting in a computer and I did everything earlier uh, for the computer that I wanted to access remotely and now this is the computer that I want to access the other computer so now when you are in your computer that you want to access from you can go to start menu go to remote desktop connection and then you basically enter your information or your uh, IP address that you found from what is my IP.com followed by port number and semicolon in between so it will be IP address semicolon the port number 3389 you don't really need this uh, username actually because you already it has already been forwarded to that IP so as long as you know the username and password you can easily access that computer and one more thing like to access the computer remotely you must set up that computer so that uh, it will ask you for a password otherwise you can't access it so when you have your uh, IP and the port number you can just hit connect and like I've done all these things before so it will remember for my username which is my name then I can type in my password to log into that computer okay just hit a yes then just open on my uh, next monitor so you can basically close this page anyway I'm using dual monitor so it open right here okay there you go I just uh, logged into the computer that is sitting remotely uh, and which uses uh, another internet which is downstairs so this is my main computer and this is my this is the computer that I just access remotely I can use it just like uh, as if I were sitting in front of that computer which is downstairs and then do everything the only thing like that I really don't want to do is like watch videos because it is not good watching videos on computer that you just access remotely it, it's slow in other words right that's it that is all you need uh, I hope you this tutorial was helpful uh, if there are any questions please uh, ask me in the comment box and if you find this tutorial difficult or if you find uh, this uh, thing hard or remote desktop difficult there are all the options like log me in uh, VNC team viewer you may find them easier but they may have their own pros and cons and remote desktop does have its own pros and cons so anyway thanks for watching my videos or watching my video uh, and see you soon thank you